Hi everyone, it's Andrew Fazekas, the Night Sky Guy, here once again talking about what's in space news this week. And making buzz, of course, is the Hubble Space Telescope, this amazing discovery machine. We keep getting amazing pictures. This week, astronomers released new images of Comet Borisov. This is this very unusual interstellar visitor. So where most comets we see in the night sky and uh, that are being discovered are from our solar system, and in the sphere of influence of our sun, this particular comet is interstellar in nature, meaning it's come from outside of the solar system, probably kicked out from another star system. And the Hubble Space Telescope managed to take the very best pictures of this particular object, which really looks like a fuzzy blob in, in this image that you can see from the Hubble Space Telescope. It shows uh, the fuzziness, which is really uh, the sublimation of ice uh, coming off of the surface of this, pro uh, this, this object that we think is maybe somewhere around a kilometer across. You can't really see the nucleus uh, from all the sublimation of ice, uh, but that is what you're seeing is that fuzziness of the ice particles coming off of the streaming off of that, that surface, the nucleus of this comet. And this comet, where does it come from? We really don't know. And where is it going? We don't know that either. But one thing is for sure, it's traveling right through into the inner solar system. And uh, this is only the second interstellar visitor that we know of. Astronomers think there are probably thousands of these objects that are visiting the, the solar system at any one time, but our telescopes currently are not powerful enough to be able to pick out uh, these very faint objects. And they're very faint at being only a kilometer across. Really, we don't have telescopes powerful enough that can uh, look out to the distance of about three, four hundred million kilometers away as this object, Comet Borisov, is. Now, it was first discovered about six weeks ago by a crime uh, astronomer on August 30th actually and uh, since then astronomers have been clamoring with the largest telescopes in the world to be able to take a good picture and track its its uh, its path through the inner solar system now it won't get much closer uh, to the Sun than the planet Mars uh, however it is going to swing by Mars uh, and the Sun through the entire inner solar system at an incredible speed of over 170,000 kilometers per hour. And like a speeding bullet, it will actually swing around the Sun and head back into interstellar space forever. Now, that won't happen until uh, mid-2020 next year. So there's plenty of time for astronomers to still try to pin down its true nature. We can see it's behaving like a normal comet. It has that fuzzy nature around a haze around its nucleus. It actually shows that there is a gas and dust tail forming, uh, which is very typical of a comet that we would see normally in our solar system. So what does this tell astronomers? It's telling us that while this is interstellar in nature, there's no chance for it to have originated from within the solar empire, uh, the sphere, the gravitational sphere of the sun. It's telling us that this uh, comet uh, is very similar even though it's alien in nature, it's very similar to comets that we find in our own solar system. So that's telling astronomers a lot about that the, the building blocks of solar systems, of planetary systems, is probably very common. It's a, what we see happening in our solar system is probably what is going on everywhere in, else in the cosmos as other planetary systems that we are starting to discover, 4,000 actually already, more that we've discovered, uh, planetary systems out in the Milky Way, they're probably all forming around the same building blocks. And that tells us a lot about the chemical composition, the true physical properties of these other planetary systems, what we can expect. The fact that this comet, that comet Borisov is so uh, typical in terms of what we see in comets, it's telling us that these other alien planetary systems are probably very similar in nature to our own. And uh, it kind of demotes us a little bit more in our uniqueness in the cosmos in terms of our solar system and our planets. Thanks again for joining me this week for Space News. I'm Andrew Fazekas, the Night Sky Guy, signing out. Clear skies. Mm -hmm.